As an athlete, it's important that you learn to manage your emotions during the match. Sure, an Olympic sprinter doesn't need to. Uh, a power lifter doesn't because their sports, you know, the game is over like in three seconds, right? Wrestling is different. Uh, managing your emotions and even your pace and listening to your body. If you're running a marathon, all right, there's a couple of hours there. Um, maybe a baseball pitcher who's kind of in a tight spot. He has to make split decisions. But also there's time where he needs to do some game planning, say, okay, this is the situation I'm in. This this is um, the next objective, right? We always set, we always focus on the next thing. It's called the task brain. So when you're trying to manage yourself through a match, what you're really doing is managing your emotions. You're learning to talk yourself off the ledge a little bit. Otherwise, panic will happen, right? So if the bases are loaded, it's three and two, the baseball pitcher, it's crunch time. He can't freak out, okay? So how do you not freak out in these big situations in a wrestling match? Well, you use these little breaks in the match, like blood time, like you go out of bounds, or um, you know, the, the the every every two minutes the ref is flipping the chip, or you know, there's a there's a change in top, bottom, or neutral. These are times you look at the clock real quick. Okay, here's what I need to do. Boom. Okay, so let's pretend I'm winning two to one, and then at the end of the third period I get take or end of the second period I get taken down. So now I'm losing three to two. Okay. 26 seconds left. I need an escape. I know I'm going on. I know I'm going on bottom second period. Let's say, okay. Get my escape. It's tied. My choice. I pick bottom. Okay. I need an escape and a takedown. That's my goal this period, because I, you know, I, I, I want, I want to win this match by more than a point. But when I do get my escape. I'm changing the way I wrestle, right? And this is sort of instinctive. These are things to think about now when you're not even on a wrestling mat. Are you going to force a, a low single leg? No. Are you going to force... You're, you're not going to try to throw a headlock or something, right? There's no upper body stuff. No. We're not. We're avoiding that. We, we avoid wrestling. No, I'm not wrestling over there now. Now, if I'm losing by a point and there's... It's the third period. I'm on my, on my feet. I'm forcing my attacks, right? Um just because I have to, okay? So uh, just like a quarterback changes the plays and how he moves the football according to the score and according to the time that's left on the clock, you should change the way you wrestle according to the score and according to the clock, right? Okay, so um, now the referee shouldn't. We had used to have that problem in Missouri, but Missouri officiating is very good now. It has been for about a decade. Um, they used to change the way they officiate the match. They still do, some refs do, and this is important that you don't if you're an official. I don't call stalemates any faster in the third period than I would have called them in the first period. A stalemate is the same, right? Um, for example, same with using the stall call, which is overused all over the nation. Um, I don't call stalling differently in the third period than I would have in the first period, right? So those refereeing should not be this different, but the wrestler is different. You do change the way you wrestle a little bit during the match, and this comes down to managing your emotions, managing yourself through the match, and, um, you know, match management is vital, and a key component of that is managing your thoughts and your emotions how do you manage your thoughts and your emotions you take a deep breath you look at the score this is the situation this is what i need to do next here i go it's just kind of a quick evaluation and calming yourself and setting the next objective okay we you've heard this a lot and i'm, I'm gonna repeat it because i think it's very important let's say you're doing something uh, dangerous and scary like climbing mount everest you just focus on the next the next um, set of flags, the next stopping point, the next tent, right? Because there's like little stopping stations. And sometimes you might be trapped, you know, on there for a week or something because of the weather. 
Okay, no big deal. Once the weather breaks, we're moving on to again. So it's important that we learn to chunk. So what you do in a match is you chunk well, in a tournament, you chunk the tournament up into the first match, right? Then the second, then the third, then the fourth. We know that. Well, a match, you chunk up into periods because there's three periods of a match. And I don't worry about the second period. I don't worry about anything but the first period. The first period, we're on our feet. So I basically have taken an entire season of 50 varsity matches, and I've chunked it up, and I only worry about this dual meet or this tournament. If it's a if it's a tournament, I'm only worried about this match. And if it's a match, I'm only worried about this period. And then after that period, I look at the Scott uh, the clock. I look at the score. Okay, two minutes on the clock. What am I going to choose? Here I go. Boom, boom, boom. I pick bottom. I, I'm up two to nothing. I'm going to say, okay, I'm going down. If the kid gets his choice, and he's probably going to defer. Most people do. We don't like deferring most of the time. I'm gonna my goal is to be winning five to zero at the end of this period. Okay, I'm up two nothing. He got his choice, he deferred. Here I go. I get my escape and a takedown, it's five to nothing. And uh third period. What are we doing? Okay, he picked neutral. Okay, I want to take down. I want to win seven nothing. If I end up winning by more, great. If it doesn't quite work out, fine. My opponent is good too. It's not always gonna work out every time but I'm managing myself with my thoughts and I'm setting my, um, I'm evaluating the situation and, and calming myself and setting my mind on the next task. Now, this is very difficult to do if the coaches and parents are, are screaming and going crazy. If It's like we say at wrestling camp, you know, from a homesick standpoint, I'm like, hey, once mom and dad get homesick, it's over, <laughs> all right? Well, once mom and dad and the coach freak out and panic and lose their mind, and uh, spill out their emotions from the side of the mat. I mean, it's over, right? So you gotta make sure you're helping your kids too, okay? So discuss with them the importance of managing themselves through the match. And let's say there's a break in action, I'll have a kid, okay, injury time. Hey, okay, Kaden, look. Dude, you went in two to nothing. You're on bottom. You had three takedowns on the edge the first period. I don't see any reason why you're not going to get your escape, get a takedown. Let's try to win 5 nothing at the end of this period. And this kid's probably going to go bottom. And at that point in time, we'll make the decision. Oh, okay. Got an escape, got a takedown and a turn. Okay, it's 7 nothing. Kid picks bottom. Hey, let's let him up. Get three takedowns and try to pin him. Okay, here we go. Okay. Now, if it was a one-point match and I'm a great rider, I probably wouldn't let you up. But if it's 7-0, my goal was 5-0. to zero. I did that. Got a cheap turn at the end. It's 7-0. Hey, let's kick this kid out. Let's get some takedowns and uh, work our takedown game a little bit. Match is basically over, right? The threat is uh, non-existent anymore for the most part. I'm going to try to pound out a few takedowns and, um, you know, finish out the match that way. Um, sure, could I just tight waist him and run my knee in his butt and arm chop him for two minutes and win seven nothing? Certainly. But I want to be ready for the national tournament. So trying to get three takedowns in two minutes is could be an important skill I'm trying to develop. So since I have a seven nothing lead, the threat is basically alleviated. Let's go ahead and take this kid down a few times. Okay. So now I'm also using this as a as as a as a a, a, a an opportunity to improve my skills too and the confidence that I can get a takedown if I need it. So managing your way through a match is important. PerlerWrestling.com. You can probably just build your whole career with us. We just do it all. From private lessons to families are moving here from all over the nation. We'll do, we do everything but school at PerlerWrestling.com. Weekend camps, girls stuff, weekly academy, summer camps, the online academy, you know, that's everything you need right there. We just switched over to a new program, Blow Your Mind. We're going to add courses on um, confidence and college recruiting and, and a number of different areas. So check out our online academy. You'll get grandfathered in. It's going to be a university before long. So you definitely want to check that out too. But definitely share this video, like and subscribe and learn to manage your way through the match. And talk yourself off the ledge a little bit and make sure the parents and coaches are under control. Wrestling gets a lot easier. Good luck.